The next Modern Warfare season starts this Wednesday and I'm going over the new details of all the new content that is dropping as shown in the new trailer which just released and I will also go over the release time and size so stick around. First if you're like me and hate to watch pointless 10 minute videos and just want straight to the point updates and info for Call of Duty then please support my channel by watching the video right until the end and liking and commenting. This lets the YouTube bots know that while this video is shorter it is worth suggesting alongside those much longer videos. A new trailer just dropped for season 5 and details the new content that will be available and you can see the trailer playing in the background of the video. First for Warzone we will in fact see the stadium open up and from the trailer you can see the first glimpses of the inside. The nuke is not going off to reveal the inside of the stadium, rather the roof is simply blown off by C4 but the season is not over for two months so there's still time to see if the nuke will go off at some point to link the game to Call of Duty 2020. But the stadium is opening up and you can see what the inside looks like in the trailer. Now one of the main concerns of the stadium opening up was it was going to be full of snipers and players camping and one of the new features shown in the trailer is the addition of zip lines. You can see one in the stadium but you can also see one here at the castle so they will now feature in the game in various points. This will make camping on top of large buildings especially a lot more challenging as there will simply be more places you can be attacked from. This will also prevent players from camping too much in the stadium. Trains will also be added in the next update on Wednesday and will include turrets and loot. The loot will be in the form of chests, including orange chests, so it is worth trying to land here, especially early game, for some good start loot. And if you and your squad want to just simply have fun on the train, then you can defend it using the turrets that are on board. The train will drive around constantly and will follow the new complete track that has been added in over the last few updates, and I did drive around it in a previous video, and it will presumably kill you if you are hit by it. The other feature seen in the trailer is also to do with trains and it's the addition of a new interior at the train station. It can be accessed by a roof skylight among other ways I assume that you can access it just by going through the main entrance and the small amount that we can see from the video you can see interior shops and a few other things. It's unclear though if the train will attach onto the train station. I know the train tracks do attach onto the back of the train station but the train itself might not actually go in towards it. But I hope it does. So the stadium's opening up, we have new interior for the stadium, the trains, and we will also have the interior for the train station. Season 5 will also see some additions to multiplayer in the form of four new maps. Verdansk International Airport is being added as a ground war map, so now you'll be able to drive tanks around on the Warzone runway. A new gunfight map is being added in the form of another Warzone location, Krovnik Farmlands. Lastly, there will be two 6v6 maps called Sudal Harbor, which looks pretty good, but it's not as good looking as the final map, Petrov Oil Rig. Finally then, in the trailer, we can see a couple of the things that will be coming in the new season, which are the new operators, and of course, one of the new weapons, the AN-94. What time will the update be dropping then, and what will be the file size? Well, the update is going to drop on Wednesday, and the file size is going to be 36 gigabytes. And we know this because the update is out for some players on PS4. So while the update is going to be big, the overall file size should be smaller in the end. And if you are fortunate enough to be one of those PS4 users, then you can pre-download the update for PS4 right now by hovering over the game and selecting Check for Update in the Options menu, and you might be able to download this. And that means you won't have to wait for the game to download before the update installs on Wednesday and according to the actual game the update will install at around 7 a.m uk time on August the 5th so that's around midnight to 2 a.m wherever you are in the US and also finally since this is a new season there is likely to be patch notes with the update on Wednesday so I will go over them when they release. So that is about it for this one guys, I want to give a big thanks to anyone who watched until the end to help support my channel create straight to the point Call of Duty news and updates. Support my channel even more by sharing this video than clicking one of the recommended videos on screen. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.